Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Flex, you know, boy. Back with another barrier. Today, we're gonna talk about this really, really cool YouTuber. So basically, guys, he said something bad. He's also really gay and crazy. Okay, guys, don't forget, like, Enough with whatever the fuck that was. I've recently found this channel, this absolute gold mine that makes videos on incredibly important topics such as what happened to Balls Liver 32. I am so glad that he made this video. It, it truly changed my life. I know I've said this many times before, but this might be one of the most revolutionary channels of all time. I might go as far as to say this guy is on the same level of epicness as the communist creeper. Today, we're talking about the Count, who recently made a video about how commentary channels are hypocrites, and the reason why he said that is pretty. Uh, Okay, I don't know how to phrase this, but basically it's retarded. I am very intrigued by this individual because of his unhinged points that he makes throughout the video. I could imagine that it was a Cheeto saying them because the Count's voice and his points are comparable to a Cheeto's usual brain that takes. And he's calling everyone a hypocrite or taking the moral high ground because they're not acting like a 9 year old attention seeker. This reminds me of another guy who thinks the exact same way. The video is only 5 minutes long, but it is packed with so much content not in the good way the fact that he exaggerates and overlooks something that isn't even something deep bothers me so much this video feels like someone sprayed cockroach spray on your whole body does that make sense anyway let us witness this cesspool of a video what's up guys hope you're having a fantastic week so far today's gonna be a bit of a short video but i just wanted to cover this topic uh so today we are learning about the word hypocrisy what the fu no way you think we're going to take you seriously after putting a meme from 2010 it's my favorite word in the english dictionary and i use it quite frequently but today i'm using it in the context of the hypocrisy surrounding technoblade's death because honestly this Technoblade situation has just become absolutely hilarious at this point. Not his death, obviously, that's very sad, but the YouTube drama surrounding it is fucking hilarious. There is only one word to describe this entire part, cringe. I know the word cringe is cringe nowadays, but honestly, other than saying it's gay and cringe, uh Oh wait, this whole part sounds a bit pretentious, like mate, you may think you sounded like William Shakespeare when you were saying that absolutely fire intro, but you just sounded like a disco nachito. If you ever create your favorite word in the dictionary, you would know the meaning behind it, but judging from what you're saying, it's pretty clear that you're just throwing the word around like it has no meaning. So we've got It's Owen and Brasso and a bunch of other shitty small channels run by unsupervised children that are saying and just typical shit like that. And then you have the other side of verified, morally superior creators who are still capitalizing off of his death, but they're taking the moral high ground so that no one can call them out for doing that. So among these righteous YouTubers who definitely aren't like those other shitty YouTubers talking about Technoblade, we've got Optimus talking about Technoblade's death and how people are exploiting it for personal gain, while also gaining 120,000 views on his video. What? A public YouTube video gets views? Impossible. This must mean that Optimus is capitalizing off someone's death for personal gain. Look man, I don't know what made you think this is a great point to even begin with. Your point here is that they're hypocrites because they're saying Brazo is bad because he's milking death for views. Well, they're gaining views too, but like... What? How is that a hypocritical thing to do? Gaining views is beyond anyone's control. I'm pretty sure a child knows this, but somehow... You don't. And then he says it again and again until I am even more perplexed as to what the fuck this guy is trying to say. I am so confused that I'm starting to use voice that I barely even use. Oh, but he donated the 50 bucks in ad revenue he made uh, to cancer research. So that was nice of him. That's gonna do fucking anything. Another verified creator posting about this is Jaden. This is disgusting. How could anyone try to capitalize off Technoblade's death? 250,000 views. We got fucking this person who got a 100,000 views for posting a video titled, People are using Technoblade's death for clout, and 
simultaneously gaining hundreds of subscribers from that one video. So what I get it from this is that he's trying to say that it's hypocritical of people to call out people trying to milk someone's death for clout while they're getting subs, which is again something uncontrollable that no one can really do anything about. If they gain subs, it's not the creator's fault and it shouldn't even be something at fault in the first place. It's just that your point makes no sense whatsoever and are incredibly flawed. By that logic, Parasitical's video about vultures trying to gain clout for someone's death makes Pyro a, a hypocrite because he's calling out the vultures for those things. Again, this proves how utterly brain dead your point is. Plus, you call out people for talking about those things. That must make you a hypocrite as well. You also put Technoblade death in the title and slap a Technoblade photo in the thumbnail. How is that any different from what you're talking about? You may be right in some cases but you're doing exactly what you're complaining about. It's pretty unhinged how you think that a guy faking a, a donation to cancer is the same as someone spreading awareness about uh, someone's death or calling out these vultures rightfully so. To, to this guy, uploading one or two videos about the topic means you're milking it which makes so much sense if you're a rotting corpse in a mental asylum. Honestly, it's just hilarious to watch how absolutely hypocritical all of these people are. Thank you for saying that, so I wouldn't have to say it to you. Just like Achito, he makes these statements that could be reverted back to him. Maybe this is Achito's son, but who knows? His next point being that these people who made a video calling out people for milking someone's death for views haven't watched any Technoblade videos. I don't know why this is really important to even bring up in the first place. If you actually actually do your research or basically just use your eyes, Jaden is a massive Dream SMP fan. She's been vocal about it a lot actually. And Six Striker is literally a Minecraft YouTuber. You think a Minecraft YouTuber hasn't seen a Technoblade video? This also proves that this guy knows nothing about what he's talking about most of the time. And is just pulling shit out of his ass to, to make his points. Why did I say that? That's so And if they really cared about people not using his death for clout out of respect, they'd send out a tweet about it. They wouldn't make a five and a half minute long video talking about how shitty it is to make videos about the situation. So basically, in a nutshell, fuck these cunts. If they want to capitalize on someone's death, they should just fucking say that, but they shouldn't condemn other people for doing that, and then go do the exact same thing themselves, but just manipulate their audiences to think that they're somehow doing something good. I do sort of agree with the tweet thing, uh, it does make sense, which is surprising to me that you can make a point that isn't misinterpreting something that isn't deep, but the fact that he said that it was no difference makes me wonder if this guy is real or just a figment of my imagination. He likes to focus on the fact that people are making videos that involve Technoblade and just ignoring the context to make this dumb comparison of how a guy mocking someone's death is the same as someone calling out these vultures for using something so tragic for personal gain. Plus, not everyone was really milking Technoblade. So in a nutshell, fuck this cunt. Overall, this video was planned unhinged at times and he himself was being a hypocrite. This video was honestly more ridiculous than communist creeper blocking people on Twitter after being called fat. It it's clear that most of his points seem like he didn't do research, judging from basically everything he says in these videos. A lot of it doesn't make sense and it's just half ass points desperately made. His points are like AI generated images but as audio. That's basically what his points are. The Khan is definitely an influential commentator. Influential in showing people how to not criticize because this is the worst way possible. If you're trying to criticize someone for a video, watch the Khan's video to know exactly what you're not supposed to do. That's honestly the only possible positive thing that could come out from his video. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys in the next video.